Well, the toy industry is hoping that Santa is very generous this year after seeing some shopping slow down. Fox Business's Lauren Simonetti joins us live from the North American International Toy Fair. Hi, Lauren. Yep. Welcome to the Toy Fair with the Toy Association. Nice to see you guys. So here's the deal. Uh, the deal. Toy sales increased 32% through COVID. But now with the economy slowing down, well, we're going to be spending less on toys. So manufacturers are right now trying to put more toys in more places. Listen here. I think retailers want to get people into the store and toys are one of the things that does it at the holiday season. That's why you see supermarket chains now selling toys. You see discount store stores selling toys. They know that is a driver to traffic. And that is why every time I spend an arm and a leg on food, I'm spending an extra 40 bucks on toys for the kids. Um, what you can expect to see this year, there's no it toy or hot toy, at least not yet, but there's variations of other popular toys. Remember fidgets, guys? They were all the rage the past couple of years. Well, this is Orb Funky's Bigfoot. It's a sensory toy. This is a fun little gift. Um, ice cream has this. Uh, claw machine. It's like an old-fashioned vending machine. It's interactive and after you move the claw you get a little reward at the end. Kadults. Toys for us. For adults maybe. A drinking game. Karen. This could be fun guys. Um, we have zipline fun. This is from Adventure Parks. If you have a backyard you got two trees where you can hang this. This is a little expensive. $180 made in America. I saw this demo it looked fantastic. This will definitely be one of the items under my Christmas tree. Education, always a hot object. Snap circuits, you get four of these STEM toys. You learn how electricity works. You set it up, and then all of a sudden, look what happens. It shoots up. Of course, it did it before. I'll try this one. There you go. But these, oh, there it is. These, unfortunately, won't be available because of supply chain issues all these years since COVID until January. But nonetheless, maybe you can get lucky and find one. Lauren, that Brian, Jackie, Lydia. Yeah, Zipline Fun looks like a guaranteed trip to the hospital, yeah, so you right. better get a reservation. <laughs> but, no! Oh, oh, I mean, no, please. Your husband must be good at setting it up. I, I guarantee I, I would. Yeah, I would I'm not botch ziplining on the one that Brian put oh, together. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> a little cheap shot there. Hey, what about that Karen oh, game, that. though? I want to know about that Karen game. That looks kind of interesting. This is hilarious. This is $25. It's already available. You can get it in most places. Um, I, I said it was a drinking game, but it, it's a board game. Board games and iterations of board games are definitely back. But this is what happened, guys. During COVID, Everybody spent so much money on toys because we were stuck at home with nothing to do. Yeah. So from 2019 through last year, you saw this 32% growth Ooh. to 29 plus billion in point of sale purchases. You can add 10 to 12 billion onto mm -hmm. that. So they say it's a $40 billion annual wow. industry. We're paying our student loans again. Yeah. We have inflation, high gas prices. So that is expected to slow this year. Mm. I feel poor already, Lauren. <laughs> Thank you very much for that report. Great stuff. Zipline for Jackie from okay. Brian. Got it. Yeah, that's right. I'll put a bow on it. Okay. <laughs>